so this is I look like after the suob suob tuob yeah it's only 10 minutes steam inhalation as you can see uh, been doing this for <clears throat> I think six days straight I usually do this um, at night but for today uh, I decided to do it in the morning wala pa ring study that shows that it can really like help you prevent uh, having COVID but at least it will give you relief and wala namang mawawala if you're going to do this process hi guys welcome back to me another video another story to tell about my life here as an OFW in Indonesia for those who doesn't know me my name is Anne and I am an OFW here in Indonesia and in this video I will be sharing with you my COVID story yes I am a COVID survivor how did I get this virus how am I doing now what did I go through while I was COVID positive. So I'll be sharing it with you today. Let me just go back to summer vacation. It was June when I decided to unwind. So I went to a lot of places outside Kota Cherubon. And then when I came back, I had my antigen um, swab test and I was negative. So here's the receipt that I was negative. Yes, there. So I was very happy. And then after a few days, I went to a market. That was the first time that I went out from the house. And that's the first place I've been to since I returned. I tested negative. And then, yeah, that's it. And then I observed after a couple of days, four days or five days, I started to feel some symptoms. I thought at first it was just ordinary flu. So I really did not mind it. I was already like feeling the body pains. I had fever, fever, but actually my fever that time is on and off, but the body pains and then I have runny nose. But all of this, I just considered as like, oh, it's just a normal flu. However, after three days and I already um, started to have diarrhea, I decided to finally have my antigen swab again. Then I already knew it that, well, I may be positive. And yes, I was positive with my antigen swab test. And so right there at that moment, I decided to have my PCR done. And I've waited for almost 24 hours, no, like 12, 12 hours. And then I received my result and yeah, it's really confirmed. I was positive with COVID. So I really don't know guys where I got the virus. Maybe it was from the market, I don't know, but yeah, I was infected with COVID um, symptoms, guys, from flu, runny nose, headache, fever, body pains, diarrhea, uh, difficulty of breathing, lahat yun naranasan ko even. I did not lose my smell but i did lose my appetite my taste for about three days fully vaccinated last april i had my second dose right last april and af after that i really felt very happy victorious because i felt that i will not get infected since i i, I am already Vaccinated, unfortunately, in the case. So, um, hindi ako masyadong nakapag-video, guys, nung anong mga nangyari sa akin. I had 
some videos, ito na yung, yung time na medyo I feel better na. But during those uh, earlier times uh, of my COVID journey, hindi ko na talaga maisip yung mga video kasi nga, uh, during two days, I was crying so hard every night because nahihirapan akong huminga, nagpapapalitate, palpitate yung heart ko and then marami ko marami ko iniisip like what if I will die I will not I don't want to die here my my family is in the Philippines they don't know that I am they don't know that I am COVID positive because I did not and I did not tell them because I don't want them to worry so yun ang dami kong mga naiisip guys for two days and that two days was the hardest for me. Doon kasi yung aking, yung two days na yun, doon yung, yung talagang nahihirapan akong huminga, especially at night, na parang hindi ko talaga alam, parang hinahabol ko siya, tapos hindi ko, at that time wala pa akong oximeter, wala pa akong thermometer, kasi nga, alam mo yun, yung hindi naman talaga ako prepared for uh, this. And then, I talked to a doctor, through uh, WhatsApp, and then he advised me of what I should do, and then he re gave me medicines, receipt, and then I ordered online with the help, of course, of my principal. And yeah, after two days, I decided that I have to fight. I can't be, you know, I can't be a victim of COVID, although I'm already a victim, but I refuse to give in to COVID, so I decided to help myself. First place, I'm alone in the house. I need to help myself. Nobody can help me but myself. So these are my medicines guys, I prepare my medicine the night before, but uh, the next day there to the I have the meds for breakfast, we have lunch, and we have after dinner, see, these meds alone cost 1,112,000. Uh, of course, in Rupia. There. I'm almost done with my meds. But yeah. So blessed to have a very generous neighbor. Thank you, Ibu Eka, for another ayuda from my neighbor, Ibu Eka, and her husband. And here's another one from Ibu Eka. My friend a local friend of what she did because I heard that she was also COVID positive but already recovered and she gave me some tips and then I look in the internet as much as possible I tried my best not to watch videos about people dying of COVID and things like that because it will really add up to my stress level and whenever I'm stressed I observe that my oxygen level will drop so I stayed on making myself happy or watching good movies like that. But I also have to do research on how, on what are the home remedies that I can do to help myself. So yeah, I did all those things and I quarantined myself for 15 days. However, I went back for my second PCR on my 12th or 11th day. 
And yeah, thank God I'm already negative. Yes, but even though I'm negative, I decided to isolate myself. So after that one, where I stayed inside the house, I'm just inside. Nga, sabi nila, if you survive COVID, you have to be very careful because there is still a great possibility that you will get infected again. So, yeah, that's what I did. I isolated myself. Okay. Yeah, I, I thank God that um, I survived. I thank God for um, healing me. And hindi ko lang ma-imagine talaga those people who are suffering from COVID na, alam mo yun, yung nasa stage 3 or 4. Kasi ako nasa ano na ako eh, sa mild symptoms na ako. I'm so blessed because I have colleagues who were sending me food kasi nga medyo nahihirapan na rin akong magluto. Minsan, wala na rin maluto. <laughs> Kaya, and I thank the Lord for healing me completely. And I continue to pray that uh, we will all be protected against this virus. And my takeaway is that even though we are fully vaccinated, it doesn't mean that we will not get infected anymore. However, I would like to really urge everybody to have yourself vaccinated because um, it will surely help you. Okay? Na kung may infect ka man, at least uh, mild symptoms lang. Yung, na pwede nang, pwede nang uh, gamutin through home remedies. So, yeah. So that is it, guys. Thank you so much for listening. And I pray for everybody's safety. Take care of yourself. Stay safe. Wear masks all the time. Alcohol. But if you, if the reason of going out is not necessary at all, just, you know, stay at home and be safe for, of course, for our self's sake and for our families. Thank you again. Bye.